Hi, it's Red Recapped here. Today I'm going to describe a movie called, Juana Man, which was released in 2002. There are some spoilers ahead. Let's start the movie without further ado. The movie opens up with Jamal, a professional, skillful NBA basketball player, but with a lousy character both on and off the court. He runs lavish parties all the time, cheats on his girlfriend, and has no limits to doing odd things everywhere. Here, it can be seen Jamal stamping for a fan instead of giving him his real autograph, which left the little kid baffled. Jamal, who just finished his six-week suspension, is present in the team lineup on match day. He scores one after another, such as monster dunks and three-point shots. But from the very beginning of the game, he got into trouble with one of the rival players for no reason, pulling his jersey and mocking his shortness and inexperienced. In a little time, he had gotten his five fouls limits. Meaning one more foul is enough for him to be sent off. To avoid losing the game, the team coach gets a timeout and decides to put Jamal on the bench. Enraged, Jamal told him that they are ahead because of his skills. He then takes off his jersey, throwing it in coach's face. But that's not all of it. He approaches the fans, stripping naked and throwing his underwear, which lands right on a fan's sandwich. The fans are baffled while his teammates are embarrassed. As security escorting him out, he ironically tells everyone there, say hello to my little friend, mentioning his manhood. While the dialogue belongs to Al Pacino's Scarface movie. Soon, the incidence has made the headline news on several TV channels. Oblivious to all of these, Jamal throws another big party. He is seen flirting with some Twinkies right in front of his girlfriend, Tina. He then receives a call from his Aunt Ruby, who is the most caring person in his life. She severely chastises Jamal for the brawl he has made, revealing that there is a discussion over Jamal's immoral behavior on TV. Once turning on the big screen TV, Jamal is shocked to find he is suspended for life, by the NBA committee spokesman. In no time, all the guests leave the party. It won't take much for Jamal's life to turn upside down. He was dropped by his endorsements and went bankrupt due to his overspending. All his belongings, including his mansion, were seized. Even his girlfriend, Tina, who only tolerated his mischievousness because of his money and fame, dumped him. A few days later, Jamal can be seen along with his agent, Lorne Daniels, who is trying his best to reduce the suspension, asking Jamal only to act like an adult. But during the meeting, after a failed attempt at pretending to be apologetic, he gets back to his real character, talks rudely to the commission and even insults them. After the meeting, Lorne decides to drop him as a client. With no place to live, he moves in with his dear Aunt Ruby. Instead of attractive girls, now he plays cards along with Aunt Ruby and her same age or even older friends. In a comic situation, one of them is struggling with her bra, while the other tries to seduce Jamal. The group atmosphere somehow weird him out, so he walks outside to get some fresh air and buy some food. On his way back home, he notices a bunch of kids playing basketball. A girl amongst them starts mocking him for his stupid stamp and also reprimands his nasty demeanor and the dark future it brings for him. Then, for the final blow, the girl interrupts his response, telling him to just pass the ball if he still knows how. Impressed by her, Jamal then notices how well the girl plays. And all of a sudden, he gets a strange idea. He calls Lorne on the spot, offering him the most talented female basketball player he has ever seen. While Lorne gets excited, hoping for a profitable contract, Jamal's plan is otherwise. Lacking any other sort of skills but basketball, Jamal decides to dress up as a woman to push himself through a female club of basketball. He rushes back home and goes straight into Aunt Ruby's clothes, trying them on. Jamal is approached by his Aunt Ruby, who is baffled to find Jamal in her own outfit. When she learns about Jamal's stupid plan, she severely opposed it at first, deducing that it could be a huge embarrassment and even sending him to jail if he got busted. Despite all this, she reluctantly agrees to help Jamal out. The following day at the basketball court, Lauren can be seen offering a talented basketball player to Jennifer, coach of a female basketball team named, Charlotte Banshees. While the two are getting disappointed at the new girl's arrival, Jamal shows up disguised as a female. The coach asks a player, Letitia, to guard her. But he clearly gets the upper hand, giving an amazing performance on the court. Coach Jennifer is amazed by Jamal's ability and decides to accept it. Jamal introduced himself as Juwana Man to both Lorne and Jennifer. The very next day, Juwana visits Lorne, who has no idea about his identity. A one-year contract with the Charlotte Banshees is offered to Juwana slash Jamal. Lorne also explains that contracts are standard and require no speech. Jamal pretends to be excited just like an amateur player, telling him that it is much better than playing in the parks anyway, and instantly signs the contract. As the contract paper is sent to the Banshees club through a fax machine, Jamal abruptly reveals his real identity. Utterly puzzled by his action, Lorne tries to stop the fax machine, but Jamal doesn't allow him to do so. 
He puts back on his wig, and as they are struggling over the facts, it seems like Lorne is humping on a female client, which was observed by Lorne's secretary, who entered the room. Lorne then tries his best to convince Jamal to stop the plan, but the latter refuses. It's the opening season of the WNBA, where Charlotte Banshees has a match against the two-time defending champion, Houston Gallup. The game is also broadcast live on TV. Because of that, a famous rapper, Romeo, is singing for the proceedings. It turns out Romeo is in a romantic relationship with Jamal's teammate, Michelle. Juana is on the bench, and Letitia tells him the player's histories. During the game, a player was severely injured, causing the coach to send Juana in. He plays well individually, but the problem is that he has broken down teamwork. Michelle keeps asking him to pass, but Juana doesn't listen to her, and ends up costing them the game. In the locker room, Jamal is blaming his teammates, telling them that they are like a bunch of little girls. Michelle goes to coach Jennifer, asking her to kick Juana out. But Jennifer tells her that since they've lost the injured player for the rest of the season, they have no choice but to make Juana her replacement. Jennifer then asks furious Michelle to help turn Juana around. At the same time, Juana was struggling with his implanted bra, which all of a sudden flew over and landed on the window where they were talking, but he hilariously collected it somehow. Michelle then approaches Juana, explaining how important teamwork is, to which Juana responds that if they want to win their games, they only have to pass the ball to him. Juana slash Jamal also misses no chance to peep at females around him, as it's like a fantasy come true. Jamal is approached by Lorne, who scolds him not to draw any attention as there is a chance for another arbitration hearing, until then, Jamal should keep a low profile. Before leaving the court, he notices the rapper, Romeo, is cheating on Michelle with another girl. In the next training session, Jennifer stops the training to warn Juana to work with teamwork. She plans to make sure Juana and Michelle, who are their strongest players, can play as a team. As a result, she orders a one-on-one -on -one game between the two. In the game, Juana gets the upper hand and even pulls a prank on Michelle, showing off her skills. But Michelle praises her ability while also kindly lecturing that one player can't win the game, but the team does. Happy to be praised by Michelle, Juana seems to be impressed. After their little chat, they become closer. Following one of the training sessions, as they're chatting together, they come across Romeo, who drives to pick up Michelle. It seems Juana is upset that they're dating and kissing, especially when he knows Romeo is cheating on Michelle. In the next scene, Michelle and Juana go to a spa center. While at first, Juana gets overjoyed peeping at Michelle's masseuse, he soon becomes frustrated as all he gets is a crazy mustache obese man who crashes all his bones down during the massage. Outside the spa, Michelle informs him of the flight they have tomorrow morning to New York for the next match. Despite all the efforts, during the next match, Juana doesn't let go of the ball. But when he accidentally loses the ball, it goes to Michelle, and she makes a score. When everybody praises him, he then starts passing every ball, even though he can also score. As he is just a man, he takes any chance to squeeze the teammates buttocks after every score and even in huddle. The game is so close, but in the last 10 seconds, Juana passes the ball and causes them to score, winning 81-80. In the locker room, as they are cheering for the win, coach Jennifer presents the ball to Juana as a way of showing appreciation for the best performance she had. But now changed, Juana hands the ball to another player, Magda with a strange mustache, as she was the one who scored the last two. But it's not all that good, shortly after the praise, Juana has to take a shower in clothes to avoid revealing his real identity, pretending it's a superstition to not take off the jersey he won in. And in the next case, Michelle asks Juana to put lotion on her body. Juana smells her hair, indicating that he has fallen for the first time in his life. Since this time, he has gotten the chance to befriend a girl first. He also realizes Michelle is in love with Romeo and she always keeps his picture. Because of that, Jamal told her nothing of Romeo's cheating. In the next scene, Jamal, back to his real identity, meets Aunt Ruby. Like every time he needs to think straight, she reveals to his Aunt Ruby that she falls for Michelle. But Aunt Ruby oversmarts him, reminding him that Jamal is a man posing as a woman, so Michelle wants a girlfriend, not him. And she will be mad at him once she knows about the extra equipment between his legs. In the following scene, Juana and Michelle are on a double date, where Michelle is oblivious that she is hooking up a man with another man. His date is Romeo's best friend and sidekick, Puffy Smoke. Juana hits his date every time he is touched by him, but they think it's all because Juana is just a peculiar woman. Exhausted from putting on heels, he goes to the bathroom and starts peeing like a real man, which weirded some strangers around out. After that, they parted two by two. Before leaving, Romeo hands Puff Smokey a protection for the night with Juana, which creeped Juana out. Once they drive to Juana's place, Juana manages to dump him, even if he has to severely kick him in the crotch.
On the other hand, Charlotte Banshees win rivalries one after another, and look unstoppable of their teamwork and chemistry. Juwanta also becomes very popular amongst the fans. But he can get rid of Puff Smokey, who sticks to him all the time and keeps sending him flowers and arousing letters. In another scene, Jamal must disguise himself as the team mascot in order to prevent being discovered by the team physician. He then rushes to Lorne and urges him to do something to make him return into the men's league. Jamal is finally given the opportunity to return to the men's league, but the hearing coincides with the Banshee's first playoff game. After much deliberation, Jamal chooses to be selfless and stay with the Banshees to help them win. Jamal blows his cover at the end of the game when he decides to dunk the game-winning basket and shatters the backboard. Jamal loses his wig during the excitement, revealing his real identity, and is promptly fired from the team. As a result of the deception, his teammates start suffering on the court. Seeing this, Jamal decides to put things right again and, during a break in another game, enters the Banshee's dressing room to apologize for the lies and deceit and tell them that playing with them is his views and changed his attitude towards basketball, women and life in general. His former teammates, particularly Michelle, are still mad at him at first, but eventually accept Jamal's sincere apologies. It also inspires the team to win the playoffs and eventually, the WNBA championship. Days later, Jamal is called in for another hearing with the NBA's commission board. Despite the sincere apology and assurance by himself and Lauren that he has changed for the better, the board is still unimpressed as they mention the brawls of Juana Man scandal and it seems that Jamal's playing career is actually over. In the nick of time, his former WNBA teammates appear and manage to vouch for him to being brought back into the men's league, and Michelle gives him a championship ring and a kiss. Jamal has been reinstated into the NBA and is back in action with the Charlotte Beat, while he is a better player in person. That's all from the video. Thanks for watching.